Okay, here we are at the engine break-in stand, and we're looking at the Stroker 383 truck motor with a late model block, one-piece rear main seal, and I've already had it running. Uh, it's not really quiet because there's an exhaust leak in these cheap collectors that I bought, but... Uh, we're doing the break-in, 7-quart oil pan, using Lucas uh, zinc and phosphorus additive. Got about 12 degrees of timing. My trusty Holly 750-3310 vacuum secondary um, 4160 carburetor. As you can see, we've got uh, full liquid cooling. I've got fans available to cool it off electric, uh, water pumps running off a single belt, got oil pressure, a tachometer, and uh, let's hear it run. Emergency fire extinguisher, uh, got a couple of those, one that uses water, and uh, should fire right up. Oh, timing's a little advanced. Let's take a few degrees out of it. Let's see how we do there. Uh, no alternator, no charging system. My battery might get, be getting a little low. Let's see. Pump shots. Oop. <laughs> I think I need. I might need to jump that battery. A few minutes, deep cycle battery. That's the uh, Optima Blue Top. There we go. We like to hear. Except for oil pressure. This is already warm, 60 plus pounds. Running at just uh, under a thousand RPM. Still needs a little more timing. what we got here. Got our uh, index balancer. Okay, that's, that's plenty of timing right there. Just under 20 degrees. We'll take a little out. Vacuum gauge, set it around 20 inches. Small cam. Lots of torque in this baby at the low end. Okay, got my emergency cut off. Um, yeah, the cam is only about 206 at 50 thousandths intake duration. Uh, so 104. LSA in this cam. So there's overlap, but it's definitely a non traditional kind of cam. It's not the thing that came in your truck originally at all. Uh, it's a, what is it, comp cams? I've got the card around here somewhere. I've got a bunch of, I've got a bunch of cam cards. Um, and, uh, I don't know, it's about 50 degrees of overlap, something in that neighborhood. But um, it'll run just like a bone stock motor sitting there idling. And uh, you, you, you get into the throttle. It's, it, it's pretty much going to be done by, the, the red line will be 4,500. Uh, 
it'll be done by five grand, but almost 500 foot pounds of torque, if I can believe my computer simulation. Um, over 400, right? The average is over 400 um, by a long shot. Uh, uh, practically right off idle. As a matter of fact, I think I think off idle. It's a, it's just about at 400 uh, foot pounds. So plenty of power for towing your boat or your trailer or whatever you got, and certainly more than enough to burn up that nice set of tires you spent all the money on. Well, you can see the late model valve covers. Um, nothing in this engine is used. It's all brand new parts. Um, every nut, bolt, uh, you know, except you see, I mean, the used water pump is just on here for the break-in stand. My carburetor, this is my shop carburetor, uh, and HEI distributor uh, shop exhaust. Um, do not need headers with this engine. Um, completely unnecessary. You can use exhaust manifolds and it'll be just as happy. Um, I like the, uh, the old Corvette style ram's horn. They work great. Um, it's got roller rockers from comp cams. As you can see, uh, high rise dual plane intake. Uh, no, this is Vortec heads and they're brand new. New valves, new keepers, new exhausts, even the castings were new. Um, the only thing that's not brand new is the engine block, which is a 93 uh, one piece rear main. Um, and got a lot of tricks in this. The bottom end, as you can see, there's a 7 quart oil pan here. Um, uh, screen windage tray, studded mains. Uh, uh, slosh baffles uh, in the back for dra uh, in case there's any drag racing going on, prevents the oil from climbing, climbing the back of the pan. Um, trap door, uh, at least one trap door, I can't remember how many there were. Uh, up in the valley, got the, uh, um, you call that a valley pan, a tin valley pan aftermarket that prevents the oil from hitting the bottom of the intake manifold and heating it up. Um, so this would definitely be a cold runner, a carburetor with annular boosters or, or at least down leg step boosters would be great with it. Um, it's meant to run cold. Uh, I got a 180 degree thermostat in it right now just to break it in. And so the cam's been broken in and She's ready to rock and roll.